Now I've had quite a few hammocks over the years. Um, and to be honest, when I first started hammock camping, I thought it was going to be really lightweight. Uh, you know, you look at a tent, they're big, you've got poles, etc, etc. But hammock camping tends to be even heavier than tent camping. So after trying a few unusual ones like the Amok uh, and the Haven, um, I've also used the One Tigris and three other different types of hammocks. And I've enjoyed them all. They've got their pros and they've got their cons. I was contacted by a company called Travelbird and they are just launching a new hammock. They sent it to me quite a while ago and I haven't had a chance to get out in it yet, so I'm testing it tonight. Um, and basically it's an all-in-one hammock system. They call it a, a four-in-one hammock system. But basically what that means is you can have it as a hammock, uh, you can have it with insulation, you can have it uh, as a, a bug mesh hammock, you can have it without it, you can have it on the floor. So there's different, different variations you can get with this hammock. But what I love about it is it's, it's a very, very simple, extremely quick sort of 60 seconds setup and it sets up all in one. So you haven't got to bring a separate tarp, you haven't got to bring a separate ridge line. It's just two tree straps. You attach the hammock, fly it and everything. Very similar to the Haven, but this has got a bigger tarp on it, which is more adjustable. Now it comes in one pack, so it's not too bad a size. When you look at this standing away from you, you know, it compacts down pretty small. So that is tarp, hammock, tree straps, everything. Um, they do put pegs in here, but I've taken them out and I use my own pegs simply because one, I prefer them, two, they don't put string. They have pegs with holes and they put string in them. I don't know why tent manufacturers do that um, and also hammock manufacturers because you need to pull it out and you can't if there's no string in the holes, so you've got to put them in yourself. So I've got my own uh, tent pegs. But everything all in, this weighs 1,240 grams. So it's incredibly lightweight. When you consider a tent, if a tent weighed that, without the need for trekking poles, you'd be in ultralight territory. So for 1.2 kilos just over for an entire hammock setup, it's pretty good. I'll get this set up now and I'll show you. So basically you have two tree straps. The bag that this comes with is double-ended as well, so you could leave the bag on it and just attach it to it, but I'll take it out anyway. And I did test this earlier just to make sure that it went up okay and I was happy with it. Um, it does take either a sleep mat or an undercoat. So you can use either or for insulation. Um, I brought my sleep mat with me. I got my undercoat in the car just in case because <laughs> I haven't tried it inside to see if it fits. But I set it up and I must admit I'm quite impressed. It's got some really, really good little ideas on it. The way it's done, the zippers, the toggles, a few other bits and pieces, but I'll show you them when I set it up. One thing I did notice is you have to set it up pretty high. So I'm going to go higher than I did earlier on. I'm using their straps as well rather than mine, um, even though these are a bit short for what I like. But these trees are fairly slim, so it's not too bad. If you had some really thick trees, you're going to struggle with these straps because of the length of them. But they're just normal daisy chain straps, so easy to swap out. At the ends of the hammock have got a very large carabiner. Um, it's not heavy, it's aluminium. Um, I've got some similar ones that are slightly smaller. Shave a few grams off it if you needed to. I'm just going to guess the loop section at the moment, see if it fits. Plenty of space. In fact, I may have to wrap it around these trees just to tighten it up. So the tarp itself has this little carabiner on here. So when you set it up, you can then tighten this. So you unhook it from the main carabiner, which I believe is just pretty much storage for it. And then you can hook it further up the daisy chain. Well, you could do if it was longer. As you can see now, it's got a nice tight line across the tarp. The guy outs for the tarp, handy little things. In here there's a little pocket. So once you've rolled them up, stored them away, they tuck inside this pocket so they don't flap about all over the place. And they've got a length of cord. And they've also got a bungee as well. So if any movement, obviously you're in the tarp, sorry, you're in the hammock moving around, it will move the tarp with it. So these have got a bungee cord in there, so it stretches instead of snapping. In theory, you only need four pegs, but there's a possibility of two more and I'll show you why. I'm 
think either the back one's out shorter than the front. Don't need the visibility from that side. I just noticed that I put the hammock the wrong way around. I always go that side to that side for some reason. There's a pocket on this side, travel bird. So that should normally be on that side of the hammock where you're gonna get in and out, but makes no difference. Plus if I put anything in there, I'm not gonna be knocking it out and getting in and out, so sure it'll work. And these got nice line lock adjusters on them, which I really like. Okay, so as you can see on here, each one of these tie outs has got a line lock system on it, so you can tighten it down nice and tight. Inside here, there is a little loop, so you can actually peg this down to the ground, similar to a ground tent, and use it that way on all four corners. At the ends here, they've actually got two poppers. So there's a popper there and a popper here. So this gives you some protection. And although they don't supply it, you could loop a guy line. And I may have one in my uh, bag, I'll have a look around there and then tie that down to the floor. So you've got more protection from wind, etc., coming through. Now going inside, there's not much fly to sit under because the mesh comes up to the edge of the fly. It bows outwards, but you're not gonna sit with the mesh on it. So that's not a problem. All along the edges here, there are little hoops, little hooks, so you can attach your um, underquilt to it. Uh, and the zips, I think, is a great idea, because where the zips join, there's always a gap. These actually overlap. So there's one zip, and the other zip is underneath it. So it works really, really well for bugs and keeping them out. Now, when you're inside here, it comes with a gear storage. Okay, so you've got gear storage on the top here, a bag. There is a toggle, which I think is if you um, undo the mesh, you can fold the um, top completely up and then you wrap this around it either side and then you can just keep the mesh completely off your face and the top off your face. And then you can just sit here in a hammock completely open. So the ridge line, as you can see, runs all the way through inside. There's another one of those straps up here. So you've got plenty of hanging inside the actual hammock itself. And then on here, you see there is a little elastic loop here. On the other side, there is a toggle. So you can tie the mesh right up out of the way. So you've just got an open hammock with the views looking out. As you see here, the zip goes all the way around. It goes over the top of the ridge line and back down this way. So you could undo the entire hammock, take the hammock out completely, and then you've just got a top. So you can pitch this up in a top configuration and have a bivy underneath it or whatever. So you, if you haven't got a top, <laughs> this will do as a top, it'll do as a ground tent, and it'll do as a hammock. It's pretty clever. And the fact that it only weighs 1.2 and a bit kilos, um, I'm really impressed with it. The thought that's gone into this and the detail is really, really good. Now, this is a new product, and I think I'm one of the first to test it out. So I'm not too sure where you can buy it yet, um, but if you are interested, I'm waiting to find out from them, and I will put a link in the description below, assuming it is currently available. I think it's gonna be on Kickstarter first off. Um, but I'm gonna sleep in this tonight, obviously, and then uh, I'll give you my full final verdict and thoughts in the morning. So I've got my boots on at the moment, so I'm not in here fully, uh, but once I get my pad in, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and all my gear. Then later on I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like when I'm fully inside and set up for bed. So hopefully you can see this, I've just opened up the, uh, the back end of the hammock and you can see here there is a pocket for your um, pad to go in. That slips in either side. So there's space for the pad to go in there. Or as I say, there's hooks all around it so you can use your undercoat. I'm going to see if my sleep pad fits in there. So I'll get that out now, give it a try. Okay, so I have got a massive sleep pad. This is the Light Tour mat, insulated mat, 5.8R value, and it's the extra large version. And there's tons of space in here. So there's more than enough for an even bigger mat. And that's pretty much the largest you're going to get. 
but I'll show you what it's like inside now. So now we've got a nice flat section. It goes diagonal across the, uh, the hammock to give you a more flatter lay. So they've thought about the design, which is a nice touch. Okay, so that's me all set up. My Thermarest pillow, Flames Creed quilt, my warm socks. I've got a uh, sleeping bag liner as well, Aegis Max one, which I've used before. May or may not use it tonight, it's not that cold, we shall see. And uh, my little hammock table set up and ready to go. If you're anything like me and you like a really good coffee, like an espresso, uh, and I do like a strong coffee, but you also like chocolate, which I also like. Um, I've tried these and they are really, really good. It's a uh, pocket coffee. So it's made by Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher. Um, and it's basically a whole, they're not cheap these things for what they are, but it's a whole espresso inside a tiny little chocolate. So you've got dark chocolate with an espresso inside it for a kick. So if you want a quick boost in the morning, it's evening now and I'm having one. You can get yourself a little chocolate. Hmm? And it's got a full espresso inside. Lovely dark chocolate with a sugary inside it as well. Really tasty. Recommend them. If you like coffee, you like chocolate, get a pack of those. Good morning. Right, so my thoughts on the hammock. Um, let's go through some good bits and some bad bits. There's always good bits, there's always bad bits. It's bloody freezing this morning. Um, so I think there's a lot, lot of really, really clever little designs on this hammock. Obviously it's, it's very lightweight. Um, I like the guy out points, the guy out lines that come with it. They're really, really good, which is unusual for a uh, a non-branded, well-known hammock or tent. Uh, you tend to need to swap things out for your own. This little gear loft is probably one of the best that I've come across. Um, it not only has a massive pouch inside here, um, but you've also got a pocket there, a pocket there, and a pocket there. So you've got loads of storage inside there and it slides freely. It doesn't have a, um, in my one wind, you have like prussic knots in it. So you have to, you know, so it locks it in place. Um, but it doesn't seem to fall down. I had it loaded up with, you know, a power bank, two phones and bits and pieces. It doesn't seem to slide along on its own. So it holds in place fine. Um, and that means that I could push it out of the way quite easily down to my feet. And in the morning I can use my feet to drag it up nearer to me which you can't obviously if it's got plastic knots, you need to pull it by the knot. So that is fantastic, works really, really well. Um, I haven't tried this out obviously in its different guises, like a, a tent or a, a tarp, but it's essentially designed so that you can unzip the whole base section out and then you have just got a tarp with the mesh panels and then you can have it down on the floor, up against a tree, sleep underneath it, whatever you like. The fact that it's got these um, hooks all along it so you can attach either under, under quilt or you can put the sleep pad inside here gives you a lot of versatility for that so I think that's a really really good option it's incredibly quick and easy to put up um, there is no ridge line to put a tarp up um, there's no faffing about with additional tying up it's incredibly simple it's just one tree strap each side and then carabiner hooked to it and that's it and it couldn't be any easier than that could it 
it literally takes a few seconds. When I was laying on my sleep mat in here last night, um, just laying there directly on the mat, and I'll say directly on the mat for a reason, um, it was comfortable, it was warm. I was very warm, it was absolutely fine. I, I struggled to get this as a, as a flat lay. So <clears throat> let me come on to the cons now. Um, whether it's not, whether or not it's because this is a is not a double layered hammock, i.e., it hasn't got a bug measure than an outer. I don't think it is. I think it's the weather, but the interior of the fly this morning is absolutely soaked with condensation. Now I do think that's probably the weather. There was no wind last night. You know, we're in a forest. The ground's wet. It, it's going to lead to condensation. So I won't put that as a negative against the hammock itself. Um, but because you can put the a sleep mat inside this they sort of say that you can sleep flat side sleep um, because it gives it rigidity it doesn't it's still banana shaped and I think having the sleep mat in it when it's curved adds to you sliding into the wrong position if you know what I mean. So I struggled to get a comfortable lay in here last night. I think this would be better with uh, an underquilt as opposed to the sleep mat, personally. So I will try it again and use an underquilt. Obviously, if you're using this for summer camping, then you don't need anything at all. But I don't think that the mat works phenomenally well with it. But that brings me on to another issue with it and I will get out and show you this. There's water dripping all over it. I'll get out and show you what, what I mean. Now hopefully you can see this. Um, normally with these types of hammocks you get a, there is a sleeve that the mat fits into and that's the position that the mat should be in. And I thought when I put this in, it went sort of diagonal across. But what I have found is that the space inside here is so huge that the whole mat will slide across the whole width of the hammock. So if you can see here, there is all the slack. So that goes right over to this side now. And likewise, the mat can slide all the way over to the other side as well. So there is a huge section here, which is almost like it's designed for a double sized mat. And what that means is all night long last night, I was hunting for the mat. I would wake up freezing cold and wonder why I'm cold. Has the mat deflated? I need to realize that where I'm laying, the mat is at the side of me here. And I'm actually just laying on the thin material with no insulation underneath me, no protection. And that went on all night long. Every time I moved, if I tried to sleep on my side, it, it's, it's, it's too bowed for me to sleep on my side. Didn't work. But if I did sleep on my side, you suddenly find yourself sort of rolling forward or rolling backwards because the mat is just, it, you're here, the mat's there, and the mat is sliding from underneath you. And there's nothing you can do about it because it's on a separate skin underneath you. You can't tuck it back again. So you have to sort of try and grab your, the whole hammock and, and round the mat and shuffle it back in underneath you again. And if you adjust your position, then you're in the wrong position on the hammock. So you end up with the hammock swinging one side. The guys who sent me this are obviously going to watch it. Um, personally, a bit of feedback from me, which will make a massive difference to this hammock, would be to have a smaller sleeve section that the, that the sleep mat goes into. Now, that does mean that's going to limit the size of the mat that goes in. Because with this, you can put in the biggest mat in the world. But any mat that isn't completely filling the whole bottom of this, this hammock is going to slide around everywhere. So you need to have a sleeve that fits a generic sleep mat. I would say up to 60 centimetres wide, two metres long. Then at least if it's smaller, it'll get a little bit of movement, but not too much. So that is something that definitely needs to be changed on here. Other than that, everything else has been fine. The zips work great. I like the zip system where it overlaps because the zips always just come to each other and you'll never get a 100% you know, solid connection there. 
uh, because it is two zips but these overlap each other so you know it's I think that's better protection for bugs um, the downside to that is that it has to start and finish in the middle you can't have two zips slid up the side here next to you um, they have to start and finish at the same point a bit of a pain but it's central so you can always reach it so that's not a major issue I have not got a clue how much this hammock is, so they are sending me some information out on it which I will get into the description and I will put it on the video here as well, just telling you pricing uh, where you can buy it um, with a link, uh, so if you do want to order it, but if you have an underquilt I think you'll be fine with this, an underquilt will work a lot better than the mat, and I would have had a more comfier sleep last night and a warmer sleep last night, um, but hopefully they will take on board my advice and change that liner so that it fits a mat without it sliding all over the place anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like this hammock and if you did hit the thumbs up if not subscribe hit the subscribe button and i will see you all on the next one